This is it's a question I asked Andrew Yang actually. So our, our episode comes out on Sunday, and obviously Andrew is a big fan of UBI, Universal yes. Basic Income. And I'm not averse to the idea of UBI in a future where legitimately 50% of the population can't work because they've all been automated out of existence and all of this. But there's one section in his book where Andrew talks about how if we cut people a check for UBI, then they will spend their extra time creating art and engaging in hobbies that they like. And I just thought to myself, I mean, I said it to him, like, people are on disability. That ain't what they're doing. Right? I mean, if you're on disability, the people you're talking about who are suffering, they're not out there writing poetry. Right? I mean, the, the, the rise of the opioid epidemic and people who are ODing on drugs and, and all this stuff, that's in precisely the same demographic you're talking about. You're just talking about a check from one place as opposed to another place. I don't, I don't really see how that solves the problem. I think we have a crisis of purpose yes. right now, and I don't think that that crisis of purpose is solvable on the one hand, by changing our trade rules. And I also don't think that that crisis of purpose is solvable by by cutting a, a, a government check. I just don't think that that's how people are wired.